Welcome to the virtual public hearing for the Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM 2222 project presented by the Texas Department of Transportation Austin District. We appreciate your interest in this project and welcome each of you. Please note that this presentation can be paused at any point to allow you more time to review the slides. Given the unique circumstance of the COVID-19 outbreak, along with our commitment to protecting public health during this national emergency, TxDOT is conducting this virtual public hearing to minimize in-person contact. The presentation will cover the same information the Austin District would have shared at an in-person public hearing. However, the comment process will be different. Details on how to submit a comment and have your questions addressed will be covered later on in this presentation. All project information can be found on the TxDOT website. This virtual hearing has been convened by TxDOT and is being held to receive and consider comments from the public regarding the Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project. Many of you may have attended previous public hearings conducted by TxDOT. However, for the benefit of those of you who have never attended one, I would like to explain how and why the department conducts a public hearing. A public hearing has four essential purposes. Inform the public of the status of planning on the project and present the recommendations based on studies performed to date. Describe the project so those attending can determine the project's potential to affect their lives and property. Provide the public an opportunity to see information and express their views at a stage in the planning process when flexibility to respond to comments still exists and before location and design decisions are finalized. And finally, develop a record of public views and participation to accompany recommendations for subsequent decisions. The virtual public hearing is being held in compliance with both federal and state laws. For the official record, a transcript of this hearing will be made. Following this hearing, TxDOT will proceed with preparation of the final design and complete the environmental process. Your statements and comments will be given full consideration in the preparation of the final recommendation and design for the Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project. Comments will be accepted in a number of ways. Verbal comments can be provided by leaving a message via voicemail at 512 647 1064. Written comments can be emailed to the project team at info at loop360project.com or mailed to the Loop 360 project team at 1608 West 6th Street, Austin, Texas 78703. Comments will also be accepted using an online comment form available on the program website www.loop360project.com. Comments must be received or postmarked by Wednesday, October 21st, 2020 to be part of the official public hearing record. However, the public may email project staff at any time in the project development process to ask questions about the project. The next slides will cover the design aspects of the Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project. The design schematic and environmental documentation for the project may be viewed online at www.loop360project.com or at www.textdot.gov by searching keywords Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive. The information on these websites is the same information being presented in this video. The proposed Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project extends approximately one mile from Lake Austin to north of RM2222 within the city of Austin in Travis County, Texas. The project is needed because increased traffic congestion at Courtyard Drive RM2222 and elsewhere along Loop 360 has resulted in a lack of mobility and increased safety concerns. The purpose of the project is to improve mobility and safety at the Loop 360 intersections of Courtyard Drive and RM2222. The existing Loop 360 corridor is a four lane roadway consisting of two 12 foot main lanes and a 10 foot wide outside shoulder in each direction. 
separated by a 48 foot wide grassy median. There is a signalized at grade intersection at Courtyard Drive with left and right turn lanes and a traditional grade separated intersection with entrance and exit ramps at RM2222. There are no bicycle lanes, shared use paths or sidewalks along the project corridor. The project would remove the traffic signal from the Loop 360 main lanes at Courtyard Drive and construct an underpass where the Loop 360 main lanes go under the cross street. The project would also construct a diverging diamond intersection or DDI at RM2222. Bicycle and pedestrian accommodations would be provided by a 10 foot wide shared use path along both sides of Loop 360 a 10 foot wide shared use path on the north side of the Courtyard Drive Bridge over Loop 360, and a six foot wide sidewalk along both sides of Courtyard Drive East and West of the bridge within the project limits. Construction details, including construction phasing and cliff removal methodology are not known at this time and will be determined as the project progresses into detailed design. Diverging diamond intersections, DDIs, are proposed for intersections with a high volume of left turning traffic. DDIs allow vehicles to travel more efficiently through an intersection by temporarily shifting traffic to the left side of the road. This allows through traffic and left turning traffic to proceed through the intersection simultaneously, eliminating the need for a left turn arrow. To help drivers navigate, DDIs are designed with overhead signs pavement marking, and traffic signals. The graphic on your screen explains how a DDI works. Traffic signals are installed at crossover points. After a driver has crossed over, they can, one, make a protected left turn rather than wait for oncoming traffic to clear or for a left turn signal. Two, continue straight and shift back to the right side of the roadway once clearing the intersection. North and southbound traffic can, Three, bypass the intersection by staying on the Loop 360 main lanes. A diverging diamond intersection has several benefits. A DDI enhances safety by reducing potential crash points at intersections, increases mobility by allowing more cars to move through an intersection, accommodates more vehicles turning left without adding more lanes, and allows for better sight distance at turns. Visit www.loop360project.com forward slash divergingdiamond.htm to learn more about a DDI and view an informational video. This is an artistic rendering of how the area will look when the project is complete. This viewpoint faces towards the south, looking at Courtyard Drive. You can see the Pennybacker Bridge in the background. The Loop 360 main lanes will be free flowing and the braided entrance and exit ramps and connector roads on either side of the roadway will provide local connectivity. You can see bicyclists and pedestrians using the 10 foot shared use path planned for both sides of Loop 360. This is a rendering facing in the opposite direction. This viewpoint faces north looking towards the RM2222 intersection. You can see the connector roads on either side of the roadway. And this rendering also shows some of the braided entrance and exit ramps planned for the project, as well as the shared use path on both sides of Loop 360. The remaining ramps and the RM2222 intersection itself are outside of the view in this drawing. This rendering shows Courtyard Drive looking east. You can see the Loop 360 main lanes running in either direction underneath the cross street. You will also notice the shared use path that goes across the north side of the Courtyard Drive Bridge, as well as the beginning of the new northbound braided entrance ramp. The known utilities have been identified and mapped. Conflicting utilities within the corridor that require relocating would be adjusted prior to roadway construction to accommodate the proposed improvements. The proposed project is anticipated to begin construction in the summer of 2023, contingent on construction funding and would take approximately two to three years to construct. The estimated total cost for the project is approximately $42 million. This concludes the project information and design portion of the presentation. The next few slides will provide an overview of the environmental evaluation for the proposed Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project.
Prior to December 16th, 2014, the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, reviewed and approved documents prepared under the National Environmental Policy Act, known as NEPA. However, on December 16th, 2014, the Texas Department of Transportation assumed responsibility from FHWA to review and approve certain assigned NEPA environmental documents. This memorandum of understanding was renewed on December 9th, 2019. The review and approval process applies to this project. Environmental studies have been performed for the proposed Loop 360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project to support environmental clearance in accordance with NEPA. The environmental analyses are necessary to identify, avoid, and minimize effects to the human and natural environments. Notices for this public hearing were advertised in the Austin American Statesman and on the TxDOT.gov website under public meetings and hearings. The TxDOT Public Information Office also prepared a news media release to advertise the public hearing. The environmental technical reports are available on the project website. The technical documentation for this project addressed the potential environmental impacts identified during the design phase of the proposed project. These areas of potential impacts included natural, social, and cultural resources, as well as potential impacts to adjacent and surrounding land use. The environmental reports were approved by TxDOT and have been coordinated with other public agencies. This slide shows a list of all topics that were considered during the environmental phase of the project. The following slides include a summary of more notable findings. A traffic noise analysis was performed in accordance with TxDOT's and FHWA approved guidelines for analysis and abatement of roadway traffic noise 2011. Based on the analysis, multiple receivers are expected to be impacted by noise. Noise abatement options were considered for these receivers in accordance with TxDOT and FHWA criteria. It was determined that noise barriers would not be feasible and reasonable for the impacted noise receivers. Floodplains. Portions of the project corridor are situated within FEMA designated 100 year flood hazard areas. These flood hazard areas are associated with West Bull Creek. The hydraulic design for this project would be in accordance with current tech stop policies. Waters of the U.S. including wetlands. Two waters of the U.S., West Bull Creek and a tributary to Lake Austin were identified in the project area. Based on the current design, the proposed project would not result in impacts to these waters of the U.S. Therefore, a permit from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and compensatory mitigation would not be required. Best management practices, BMPs, would be used to minimize any potential impacts to water quality. BMPs could include temporary vegetation, silt fences, or other appropriate methods for erosion and sedimentation control during construction. In conclusion, the studies, analyses, and evaluations performed indicate the proposed project would cause no significant environmental impacts. Following this hearing, Documentation of this public hearing will be reviewed by TxDOT for the final environmental decision and design approval. If there are no major issues arising from this hearing that cannot be addressed in a reasonable time frame, the final environmental decision is expected in the winter of 2021. As mentioned earlier, construction of the project is expected to begin in the summer of 2023. The project is anticipated to take two to three years to construct. This concludes the environmental evaluation portion of the presentation. All comments and questions will be fully considered and responded to in the project record and made part of the public hearing summary report. This document will then be made available for public review at www.loop360project.com. Click on projects and select Courtyard Drive RM2222. As a reminder, there are several methods available for you to leave a public comment. All forms of comments must be received or postmarked on or before Wednesday, October 21st, 2020 to be included in the public hearing summary. Verbal comments can be provided by leaving a message via voicemail at 512-647-1064. Please include your name and, if applicable, the organization with whom you are affiliated.
Written comments can be emailed to the project team at info at loop360project.com or mailed to the Loop360 project team at 1608 West 6th Street, Austin, Texas 78703. The email address and mailing address are listed on the screen. You may also leave a comment by clicking the link on the project website, www.loop360project.com. To learn more about the project, visit the project page on the Loop360 website. The URL is listed on the screen. We sincerely appreciate your interest in the Loop360 at Courtyard Drive RM2222 project. Your questions, comments, and concerns will receive careful consideration. Thank you very much. This concludes the presentation and the hearing is now adjourned.